In this tutorial, we'll go over how to remove the background of an image entirely online, which will be useful to use on your school-issued Chromebooks. So the apps that we're going to use are Google Drawing and Photo Scissors. And then after you learn how to use these, you'll learn how to download a completed photo on Google Drawing. So first we're on Google Drawing, and as you can see, I've already started a drawing and I've inserted a photo. How I insert a photo, let's just go to Insert Image, then I searched Hawaii on the web and pick the first one. So I want to put this picture of a beagle, but just the beagle on top of the Hawaii. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, what we need to do is go to photo scissors because Google Drawing doesn't have an option where you can remove the background on an image. So you have to use other applications online in order to do this. So we'll go to the site Photo Scissors, which is online.photoscissors.com. You can just search Photo Scissors up in Google and this website will pop up. And now we upload the image, which I've downloaded onto my desktop and put it onto here. And now it will bring us to the workflow page. And so it shows you, you put the green to draw what you want, the red to put what you don't want. You don't need to highlight everything because the program does it for you. So here we go. First, I'm going to zoom in and then to move around the image, we do that. This bar lets you change the width of what you're editing out. So if I make it really wide, as you can see, the green, which is what I want, will get bigger. Do plus. And now when you're on plus, this is what you want to have in the photo. So I want to just keep the dog. So this is my foreground. And now we have to show what I don't want. I don't want this whole background. So I'm just going to carefully, oops. And now see, I've kind of gone over his ear, so I'm going to undo that. But it starts you to show you in the panel to the right what it's going to look like. So this is what he's starting to look like without the background. Now I can go zoom in, edit it more, get rid of what I don't want. What I do want, I just add back in. And now as you can see, I've removed the background on the beagle. So all I need to do to save this is press control or right click and then copy image. And now that I've copied the image, I go here and I paste it. So as you can see, it also saves the black lining around the photo that we saw. So here's the black line save. So we just need to crop that out. So we crop the black lines. And now we have a beagle in Hawaii. So now if I want to export this, I just go to File, Download As, and then JPEG. And now when I open it, you'll be able to see this is what the image looks like and it doesn't have a background and it's a beagle in Hawaii. So that is how you remove background using online processing tools.